Umbrella people, we don't give up. Right, greetings everybody. It is Saturday the 14th of January. I am here once again at Government House and we have a development. We have people back on the wall. As you can see, there are police officers uh, behind me and as I understand, they have not uh, asked uh, the people on the wall, the umbrella people, to move on. Uh, it's been a very interesting situation over the past couple of days. So on the 2nd of January, we had two people arrested here at Government House. Um, there goes that bell again ringing itself, I can hear. Hmm, that's funny. Um, and uh, those two people were due back in court on the 30th of January, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and until that time had um, bail restrictions put upon them which meant they couldn't uh, come down to the wall. Um, they requested and demanded uh, that it be brought forward and so it was brought forward to January the 12th. Uh, you can go along to Max Freedom, I'll put the link in the description to see the video about that. It is very noisy here, wow. Um, and uh, their bail conditions were dropped and uh, this morning, I had the pleasure of standing with uh, Joe and Liz this morning down here uh, at the Kangaroos and speaking to the umbrella people on the wall. Yeah, look, uh, we turned up this morning. I arrived with Vince just after eight o'clock. We walked down, there was no police here at all. Um, we waited for uh, more of our group to turn up. We stayed just up the road where we've been um, and the police have left us alone there for the last 10 to 12 days. And uh, with the police not arriving, we we thought about things and uh, more of us arrived. So we decided to come down to, uh, to the governor's house, uh, where in the past uh, we've been told by Acting Inspector Tight that we shouldn't be here because we'd be stalking. So it's a bit of a shame uh, to get honest people that I know that are honest and accusing them of stalking. So we came down here, um, we were here for a good half hour. I personally expected to see squad cars come up the road and, and some heavy tactics. Uh, that never happened. Uh, the police turned up on their bikes, about four of them, uh, which have stayed since 10 to 9. Uh, and we've been standing out the front here. We're, we're out of the, uh, the old zone where we're in, so we've sort of got our uh, toe in the water, so to speak. No, I don't think it's over by any means. Uh, I'd like to find out what's going to happen tomorrow and get uh, proper police you know, advice because up until now they've told us all we're potentially criminals and can be charged with stalking and that really uh, offends me. So yeah, that's what uh, we are, where we are today. So what's significant about tomorrow? Is it going to be more of this is without knowing what, what the police are doing? I mean, the police have been adamant. You know, every day we were told by uh, Mr. Tight, that we were, that he thanked us for staying away and that they were still investigating the stalking. So that's been said, and now all of a sudden that's disappeared, and the police presence has disappeared because normally there'd be eight to 12 of them. Uh, they'd normally have a squad car down both alleyways um, and things like that. So it's, it's been a very heavy police presence up until today. Uh, so um, would you say it's, it's a a win for the people of Perth? Uh, a tentative win, yes. A tentative win. Definitely the fact that they're not come down here and arrested us. But again, I would like to know uh, what the police are planning to do. I'd like to see some honesty from the police. Their honesty backing off and realising that they're uh, falsely accused us of stalking or uh, they're going to leave us alone and uh, and back off the way they are now, I don't know. Do you think Section 75 of the Criminal Code, which states they can't impede on people's political liberties, uh, might have something to do with uh, the sudden change of events over the past couple of days? I would like to think that's true. Yeah, I'd like to think that they've read the law in relation to uh, our protest and how long it's been going. The 3rd of December to, uh, 2021. It's been going peacefully. Um, and so I think they'll look at that and realise we're continuing that. Uh, maybe that's why they've backed off. A small win for the people, perhaps, 
Um, I don't know exactly, we all don't know exactly, but my uh, thought would be that um, Section 75 of the Criminal Code uh, does state that it is illegal to impede on people's um, political rights. Now, as far as I understand, and even if you look at an infograph designed uh, for um, young people at school, um, talking about um, human rights, uh, social rights and political rights, and if you follow that infograph down, uh, you will see that uh, freedom of speech, freedom uh, of assembly, so on and so forth, are our political rights. So perhaps the police might have had a little bit of a think about uh, impeding uh, and stopping people uh, doing what is their right to do. Um, but anyway, that's just my conspiracy, allegedly. Um, so that is me signing off from Government House. Um, pop some comments below and um, show your support uh, for the Umbrella people and all the other people around the world who will not um, give in to tyranny um, and stand up for what they believe in and what is our right, what is all of our rights. So put, put pop, excuse me, uh, pop some comments below and show your support for people who are out there uh, fighting for freedom. Right, okay, once again, that is me signing off. Until my next video, I'm going to say bye. Interesting. Right, so that's interesting. I just stood near the gate and the bell rang and someone's talking to me. Anyway.